hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here you are welcome on this channel i share sewing tutorials pattern tutorials sewing tips hacks as well as craft tutorials so today i'll be showing you how to make this standing flare or peplum there is another type where you're going to be seeing lots of fold i'll share that in my next tutorial but this one is the standing type by the time you make it on fabric attach your state to it it's going to you know be like what is in the thumbnail of this video the picture that you saw and what is you know right here on the mannequin so if you are here and you're not subscribed yet kindly you know do us a favor by clicking the subscribe button and also you can click the bell beside it so that whenever i post new videos you'll be the first to know so let's jump right into the tutorial so guys in order to draft the handkerchief flare or handkerchief peplum i'll be using the 360 degree flare method why i'm using this is because this type of flare that i want to do is such that you know by the time you cut on fabric you attach your wadding to it the peplum is going to stand out you know as you can see in the thumbnail of this video you know before you clicked before you started watching the video that picture that you saw there so i folded my paper into two like this and then i folded it again okay i'll go ahead and do my calculations now so my waist is 32 so that is like circumference right what I'm going to do is to add an additional two inches to this. These two inches is going to serve as um, allowance, seam allowance, zipper allowance. So what I'm going to do now is to do the calculation so that we can be able to cut this to our waist measurement because we are folding it into four. So the formula or the calculation I usually use is circumference equals to two pi r. My circumference now is 32 plus this extra two inches. So that is 34. 34 equals to two pi. The value for pi, if you don't know what pi is, is a statistical value and the value is 3.14. So if you multiply 2 times 3.14, it's going to give you 6.28, okay? Remember, we still have R that we are looking for, which is our radius. So I hope you understand my explanation. So I'm going to do 34 equals to 6.28 R. I'm going to divide both sides by 6.28 because we want to cancel 6.28 out on this side to get our radius so what i need for my radius now is this 34 divided by 6.28 and by the time we calculate it we are going to get some 5.41 so i hope all this my explanation has been clear up to how i got 5.41 do we understand so when you're folding your fabric you're going to fold your fabric such that you have 5.41 plus the length of your peplum plus seam allowance so you're going to fold your fabric to 5.41 plus the length of your peplum or flare the 5.41 that i calculated i'm going to come right here and mark it but since i don't have 5.41 i'm going to go with 5.5 more is better than less so i'll come right here mark 5.5 all around from this point here so just keep marking that 5.5 for yours like this okay that's if your waist measurement is what i calculated if not please use your waist measurement so after marking i'm going to go ahead and connect it like this okay in order to mark the length of this flare that we are making i'm going to be using the front first the front length is always longer than the side as you saw so what i'm going to do is to come to this part that is folded not this side that is open so here is going to be front and back. Here is going to be the side, okay? So let's say I want to go with a front length of um, 12 inches, inclusive of seam allowance. From this point now, I'm going to mark that 12 inches, okay? So to get the effect of your peplum standing like that without it having folds, what we're going to do is to cut off some bits, especially at the side seam area. So I'm going to come right here from the side seam area. I'm going to mark about four inches. So did you see that? I marked about four inches. From this point now, I'm going to mark the length of what I want the side um, area to be, okay? So I come right here, I want it to be nine inches. So I'm going to call, place my tape rule at the end of this part that we have marked here. So I place it like this. I mark that nine inches, okay, inclusive of seam allowance. And then I'm going to connect that point all the way up here, 
like this. We want it to stand without having it fold. That's why I removed four inches from the side. You can definitely go with more if that is, you know, what you want. Then I'll come right here and then connect from here now all the way to the 12 inches that we have at the front. Okay. So like I said, it's better for you to have, you know, more allowance at your waist than to have less because of zipper allowance and because of side seam allowance. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. So by the time you open it up, you're going to be having something like this, okay? What makes your peplum or flare to stand is the type of stay that you use on it. Now, if at the end of the day, you still feel that you're going to have folds on this part of your flare, all you need to do, like I said, is to come to the bottom here at the side seam area, remove some more inches, connect it to your waist. Please don't remove anything from your waist though. Whatever you want to do, remove it and connect it to the waist. Okay, let's say I want to remove an additional two inches now. So I just come right here, mark that two inches. In addition to the four inches that we marked earlier, see what I'm doing. I'm connecting it straight to my waist. I'm not touching my waist at all. And then cut it off. Just like this. It's as simple as that. So this is the type of flare that you do without any folds, okay? So I'll just go on and pin this down and show you how it looks. I pinned the pieces together. I cut the center back open, okay? So what I'm going to do now is to, this is the waist. So you need to, you know, reshaping the waist so that it continues into each other like this. Okay? In my next video, I will show you how to cut flare with folds so can you see what i did and then i'm going to trim this part out so just like this so that the waist um, circumference continues Do you understand so when you finish you're going to have something like this so did you see that so i'll put this on the mannequin for you guys to see the effect okay so here is the result of the standing peplum flare on the mannequin so you can see how it is um, standing without you know the flare having folds at the bottom so by the time you want to cut this on fabric i would advise that you use a peplum stay or a paper wadding to ensure that the fabric doesn't fall to make sure that it you know stands pretty well okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and i'll be seeing you in my next tutorial bye